what's up guys, John here. What is Elon Musk, Michael Burry, Jeff Bezos, you know, Sequoia Capital Partner, they has 85 billion in assets under manager, what do they all have in common? Well, obviously they're all controlling a lot of money. They all have access to better information than we do. And they're all saying the same thing. So I think it's something we should all be paying close attention to. I pointed this out in Q3, Q4 of 2021, that all the rich, all the wealthy, they're liquidating large, large blocks of stock. Why would they do such a thing? unless they thought that stocks were going to absolutely plummet, which is what actually happened. They could have easily borrowed against their stock, which is normally what they do. They normally buy assets and borrow against the assets because it's a non-taxable event, because it's not earned income. They're simply taking a loan out. And so why would they just sell and, and pay all these taxes? Well, because they believe that, and this is my belief, they believe that if they were to set, if they were to take a loan out against these stocks and they ended up getting a margin call. That could be a really, really big problem if stocks plummeted far below the you know required limitations. And so they ended up liquidating. Well, now they're all saying something that we all need to pay attention to. They're saying that this could be far worse than 2008. Now, I got into real estate in 2008, and at that time, it was a completely different type of buyer, a completely different type of home seller. There was real fear in the market. You really had to sell to close a deal. Nowadays, or at least you know, a year ago, you needed no skill. People were just looking at it and saying, you know what, interest rates are zero, paying an extra 100 grand over asking, what's it gonna cost me? Another two, 300 bucks a month, not a big deal. I want the house, I want the community. They would just buy it. Everyone was just buying everything because they always think that you know, when everything's just gonna continue to rise in price, especially when we're fighting inflation. And now this is all starting to come out. And so what I think is gonna happen is I believe we're gonna be entering a once in a lifetime opportunity to invest in real estate, to buy stocks, to start companies, to do really, really big things because we're gonna to start to see real fear start to set in this market. And that is when you make money. Like billionaire Carl Icahn said, my job is to buy when everybody has to sell and to sell when everyone has to buy. Another saying is, you know, money is made when people are afraid. And that's what I think is gonna happen right now. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through that. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content to educate more people about what's really going on in the economy. Also in 2008, 2009, if your credit was not you know, A plus, you weren't getting a loan. So a lot of people are anticipating, I'm gonna run out there and invest in real estate. I'm gonna buy deals. I'm gonna make so much money. It's gonna be great. But if you don't have the credit that's gonna get you into the deal, then it's almost like a tree falling in the woods and no one is around. Does it actually make a noise, right? You need great credit. Even the CEO of Bank of America came up recently and said this, that the average FICO scores for new home loans and auto loans, home equity lines of credit, all north of 760. This is damn near perfect credit. So if you have credit in the seven, low 700s, you know, in the 600s, it's not gonna get you to where you need to be. We'd love to help you get there at greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. You can watch this video on the homepage, and I literally walk you through exactly what's going on step-by-step, step, and you can schedule a call today. Uh, I believe there might be one call left today, maybe one or two left tomorrow. Uh, Elon Musk, he comes out and says, the Fed must cut rates immediately to stop a severe recession. The reality is if they cut rates, what's ultimately gonna happen is we are going to only delay the inevitable. Gold and silver prices will likely skyrocket as people look to you know, lean into a safe haven. We would likely see a lot of money flow out of America and other countries. We'd likely see a lot of, Amer a lot of savings flow into hard real assets as people start to lose faith in the dollar. We would likely see a lot of huge, huge decisions occur based on this. However, long term, it would be devastating for inflation. It would be very, very bad for the US uh, consumer. And we would likely see more inflation relief checks. Things would not uh, go away like Elon Musk is almost suggesting here. He responds to this lady and says, I am expecting a real economic recession in 2023. Be prepared for any macroeconomic storm ahead of us. And he says, trend is concerning. Fed needs to cut interest rates immediately. They are massively amplifying the probability of a severe recession, right? They need to cut rates. That's what he, that's what he believes. I think that that is probably the worst decision. Um, I believe that you know, we have $16.5 trillion in consumer debt, $16.5 trillion. If we cut rates, 
all that's going to do is it's going to take it 17, 18, 19 trillion. It's only going to continue to skyrocket. We are in a situation right now, which is unfortunate, but we're in this situation where that 16 and a half trillion dollars is all, you know, baked in at 0% interest rates. And as rates are continuing to rise, the cost of service credit cards, auto loans, student loans, uh, just already mortgages, everything is going to continue to rise with it. And so there really is no easy way out of this. There really is no easy way out of this. Uh, even Bezos, hold on to your money. Bezos warns recession, advises people not, not to buy a TV fridge this holiday season. Michael Burry, investor, sounds a recession alarm, warning the U.S. economy faces a multi-year downturn. We look at just the layoffs uh, just in the last 24 hours. Uh, I mean, crypto is getting absolutely devastated right now. DoorDash lays off 1250 um, Amazon just laid off 10000 uh, Twitter, a lot of tech companies are issuing the layoffs, but it's going to be really the small businesses that are going to feel the real wrath of this layoff problem. Uh, Sequoia Capital, they have $85 billion in assets under management uh, as of 2022. And he believes this, uh, this venture capital uh, partner, Doug Leone, says that it's going to be worse in 2000 and 2008. Uh, this is based on a speech he gave in Finland. It says American venture capitalist Doug Leone doesn't think the tech wreck is going away anytime soon. The Sequoia Capital partner gave a gloomy outlook. The global economy warning that today's downturn was worse than the recession in 2000 and 2008. The situation today, I think, is more difficult and more challenging than either of either 2008, which was really protective financial crisis, services crisis, or 2000, which was a protected technology crisis, Leon said, speaking on stage at the Slush Startup Conference in Finland, here we have a global crisis. We have interest rates around the world increasing. Consumers globally are starting to run out of money. We have an energy crisis, and we have issues of geopolitical challenges. Tech leaders and investors have been forced to reckon with higher interest rates and deteriorating macroeconomic conditions with central banks raising rates and reversing pandemic era money, monetary easing, high growth tech stocks have been on the decline. The Nasdaq composite is down nearly 30% year to date, facing a sharper decline than the, that of the Dow Jones Industrial Average or S&P. That, that's hard. That's had a knock on effect on privately held companies the likes of Stripe and Klarna, seeing their valuations drop as a result, startup founders are warning their peers that it's time to rein in costs and focus on fundamentals. Think of what happened in the last two or three years. Whatever you did was rewarded by some investor because of their plethora of capital. You were rewarded no matter what. You made a decision, a bad decision, and you got money. You made a good decision, you got money which is a lousy way to learn your craft. All that is gone. What you're going to learn now is the best lessons you've ever gonna learn. Even in our business, Leon said, he does not expect tech company valuations to recover until at least 2024. My forecast is that we're not going to get away with this very quickly. Leon said, if you turn back into the 70s, there was a land's 16 years, right? Even if you go back to 2000, a number of public companies didn't recover for 10 years. He added, I think that you have to be ready for a prolonged time when you're going to find consumers running out of the money, demand decreasing, tech companies' budgets being cut. In the private market, seed stage companies will be less affected than later stage firms, which are more sensitive to movements in the public markets, right? And so we look at what's happening right now. Living paycheck to paycheck has become the norm. Inflation takes a toll on Americans, America's finances. So as their emergency funds dry up. So this is what I believe is going to happen. I believe that we're going to sit, step into a situation potentially over the next week and a half, two weeks where Jerome Powell increases rates again. And during this time, we're going to see energy costs continue to rise and we're going to see consumer spending increase during the holiday times like it normally does with travel, holiday gifts. And during this time, we're going to see people that really extend themselves. And on the back end of that in Q1 and Q2 of 2023, as rates continue to likely increase, people are going to start defaulting left, right, and center on credit cards, auto loans, mortgages, everything. They're going to start to default. And this is the time that you want to have incredible credit, cash in the bank. You want to be very, very well positioned. You want to be in the right business or involved with the right people uh, to learn and grow during this changing market. Because the real money is made 
when people are afraid, like billionaire Carl Icahn said, my job is to buy when everyone wants to sell and to sell when everybody wants to buy. And soon I believe there's going to be so many people trying to sell. Look at the housing market right now. We're already starting to see a lot less confidence in the housing market. I think this has only just begun. As rates rise, the cost to borrow money is crazy. Like if you were to buy a $500,000 property, you had $100,000 to put down as a down payment. And interest rates at that moment, for this example, are 8%. To borrow $400,000 fixed rate at 8% is 4196 bucks a month. That is crazy. So you would think about that. $4,100 a month, you'd really have to make sixteen grand a year to afford just a hair over the average property in America. The average property price right now is $429,000. So 500000 dollars $429,000, it's not that far apart. I mean, but still, four grand a month, $16,000 in household income to afford that. Not many people are going to be able to do it. I think we're going to start to see people really pull back and uh, it's going to be an affordability crisis that we've never seen. This is the time to get prepared. What do you think about it? Drop below, hit the like button, subscribe here and subscribe to my second channel. Uh, it's an interactive call-in show on a podcast, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and the banner. If you need help fixing your credit, we would love to help you. We're an investor-based credit repair company. We help a lot of people get prepared, fix their credit, and get into the right situation so that when... You know, the time to buy comes, they're in a position to where they have the credit that will check and pass that requirement through, you know, traditional lenders in America. So we'd love to help you fix your credit. Greatcreditfast.com. See you guys in the next video.